Hey everybody, Average Picker here. I'm gonna try to get through a, a K1 lock, which means we're gonna have to try to be the lock. And hopefully I'm gonna do it before uh, the Lily Dog gets too antsy and wants to go out. So let's see what we can do here. A little bit off of two immediately. Little bit in the back there. Oh, and uh, off of four, that put us into a bit of a false. Okay, I can't. Okay, we're coming off, I'm of, using very light tension. I'm pushing on one. I think we just set one. We tipped one a little bit more and put us in back into our false. Two. Three falsed us a little bit more. And one tipped it again and we are open. Lily Dog is gonna be happy that was a nice little smooth quicker pick for us. Let's get the camera adjusted here. What have we got on the back? Uh, little screws. Of course it's K1 lock so our key's gonna work just fine. No problems there. Uh, let's see what we got. Screwdriver. Oh, let me get this back off. I'll show you the key. It's an unnamed. Uh, well, K1 doesn't name a whole lot of his locks, I don't think. There's our bidding. You can see our biggest lift was up here on one. <clears throat> Looks like we've got uh, some screws set there. There's probably some work done upstairs. Oh, this is one of those split cores. Let's not split all the way. So we got for five. I believe it's a standard. It might have some light serrating on it. We'll take a look at it. We're pushing a fair number of standards. Or they're slightly. Oh, they're slightly reduced. Or are they just a little worn from being picked? Yeah, so far we're just turning out all standards. Uh, and it looks like we've got threading in all the chambers. Oh, very cool. Another pin and pin. That's funny, I just feel like I have not seen pin and pins for a minute. Now we're getting quite a few. Could just be on into the bottom of my uh, the bottom of my challenge locks. So yeah, remember if you want to uh, do some exchanging, you can reach me now at averagepicker gmail.com. Makes it nice and easy. Started a Twitter feed, an average picker <laughs> Twitter feed too, but I kind of forget about it a lot. I don't really know how or what I'm going to use it for. Um, so yeah, it's pretty underutilized. Um, looks like we've got 
and sticking in five. Held up on the threading. Definitely uh, definitely did a little bit of picking on five. So I'm um, so five just came out. I'm not sure if five is uh was originally a pin and pin. Maybe a bit got lost. It's one of those pins that could go either way, um, but it's a very seriously reduced diameter. Um, so it could just probably find that it is that. And it looks like we've got threading in all the chambers of the Bible. So let's uh, flip the camera around, and take a look at what we got. Okay. Here's our core, and you can see we've got threading in all the chambers, and that threading is carried all the way through on the lock. You can see tapped in there, and it's going to be hard to see inside here. I left the springs in as usual, a little bit of a mix, uh, but that threading is in all those chambers upstairs as well. Uh, downstairs, our drivers are all standard. There's a couple of these that came out initially under the light that I've got in here. I thought maybe uh, they had some light serrating on them, but I think they've just been run through the picker a few times. Um, so yeah, there's no modifications on any of our key pins. And now upstairs, so this is one I was slightly questioning on, but I think this was just by itself. We did not, we didn't lose any pieces anyway. Um, who knows if one got lost over time. But it looks like we've just got a heavily reduced little diameter spike here. And when I was opening, he was hung up on that threading inside. I love these guys. Nice little barrel pin. That's what I refer to them as. Um... That's probably the closest thing he is anyway. Got a nice little deep cut there on the top. Normally on barrels you find them a little more uniform. It's fine not to do them that way. And it's awesome. Love it. Those are some of my favorite pins right there. Upstairs we've got this guy. He is not a... Well, it's very blurry. Let's see if we can get... There we go. It looks, I know that little tip end there is, that first serration cut is so fine. You can see it's taken some abuse over time and actually curled up. Um, it is not a pin and pin, however. So sometimes pin and pins can come out looking a little like that and they can give it away that that is a pin and pin. But this one is not. He's just uh, he's been through the picker a few times. pretty much our spool element we've got going on there and this guy was a pin and pin but you can see when you, you ran into the one that's what started to make me think maybe he was one and just over time that little sleeve got lost I don't think so though there's our little pin and pin guy came out of one very nice work of course it's k1 so what else would we expect that's our shear line should we take a look at what they look like uh, at rest i think we've got some time let me pop these in real quick really looks like she's given up for a moment so yeah we'll take a look at it and there we go looking at what they look like at rest so pretty well in there the only exception was number four Unfortunately, my favorite of the pins. Um, it's 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 too much on the top. It just kept wanting to fall out of there. Um, so yeah, it would have been really cool to see him buried a little deeper. Love these guys. Um, but regardless, the top and bottom portions of him are going to catch and hang up on all that serrating. That's both here as he's trying to come out, and uh, it's going to make that lift a little more difficult as he hangs up going through our. <clears throat> through our core there. 
or not core. Yeah, <laughs> going through our Bible there. Uh, yeah, so very cool. K1 locks, always fun locks to pick. Be the lock. That's such a great little tagline. It's one of those little taglines that kind of makes you wish you had thought of it. It's got that little zen approach to it. So yeah, there we go. Um, this one's been sitting in my drawer for a while, so um, I don't remember who sent it to me. But thank you, and thank you K1 Locks for having pinned this up, having being out there. So and yeah, again, if you guys, uh, if anyone wants to do an exchange, just hit me up on at Average Picker at gmail.com and we can get something arranged. On that note, I've got some really tough locks um, that I can trade out as well. Now, normally when I do exchanges, I just kind of grab uh, from whatever's in there and I try to match however many you're sending. Um, <clears throat> and then sometimes if I have some of my own, I'll you know throw those in as well. But uh, yeah, I've got some really tough ones. So if you are interested in doing an exchange, um, and you're particularly interested in some really tough locks, let me know. Uh, and I can uh, tailor it around a little bit. I think I've got, I've got two or three, I think, in there for sure that are, uh, ooh, they're doozies. And really, it's about time I send out um, Alex's heart and soul 1100s. I have battled and battled and battled these and not gotten anywhere. So. I can send those out if you're interested in trying them. Those are very difficult. And I just dumped our pins over, so I'm glad I've got the video to remind me where everything was. Because now we've got a bit of a mess, but no worries, we will get this thing back together and get it ready to go out. All right, everybody. Have a good uh, Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs>